In this video, I am going to discuss uh, the uh, pseudocode and time complexity analysis of insertion sort algorithm. First, let us discuss the pseudocode and this is the pseudocode uh, uh, of uh, the insertion sort algorithm. So, as we discussed earlier in the previous video, always the insertion sort algorithm would start working from the second element in an array. So, since the array starts from 0, the second element is going to be the index 1. So, we have mentioned the k value as 1. Suppose, if the array starts from 1, uh, your k should start from 2. Since it starts from 0, my k value is starting from 1 till n it would be, it would get iterated. So, I have set the k value. So, as the very first iteration, my k value is going to be 1. So, once the k value is set, the second step is create a variable which is called a temp in which we are going to store array of k value. Our k value is 1. So, under the temp variable, we are just going to store array of 1 value. And then we, the, as a second step, we have to de, we have to set the j pointer as well. So our j should point always k plus one value only, k plus one index only. So if k value is zero, zero uh, sorry, if k value is one, one minus one is going to be zero. So the j value would be pointing the zeroth index. So once the temp value as well as j value is set, we are just supposed to enter into the second loop, which is called the while loop. And inside the while loop, there are two conditions are given again. One is check whether the temp is lesser than or equals to array of j and also check whether the j is value is greater than j index is greater than or equals to 0. So, if both the conditions are satisfied, it is supposed to execute these two statements, enter inside the loop and execute these two statements. The very first statement is if both the conditions are satisfied, the very first step is write array of j value to array of j plus 1 to position. That is going to be the first step. Once written, the second step is going to be decrementing the j value. For example, the j is pointing value 1 means it has to point 0. If it was pointing 2 means it has to point to the index position 1. So, once the value has been written, the second step is going to be the j value should be decremented. So, we, we should keep on checking for this condition. So, if the condition is satisfied, these two statements would get executed continuously. Once the condition got violated, it would come out of the loop and in the place of array of j plus current j value only would be applicable here. So, in the place of array of j plus 1th position, we are supposed to write the temp value. So, once written came out of the loop, one, once executed the statement means execute the k value, no, just move on to the second iteration which is 2. So, when the k value is 2, under the temp variable, we are supposed to store array of 2 value. Once set up, we are supposed to, suppo supposed to set the j pointer. j pointer should be pointing k minus 1 position. k value is 2, so 2 minus 1 is 1, which means our j pointer would be pointing the first index. Once uh, the setup is done uh, of the temp uh, variable as well as the j pointer, again check for the condition, these two conditions, if these two are satisfied, execute the remain these two statements. If it is not satisfied, it would go out of the loop and it would again you can start iterating the k value as 3. So, the same like we the same process would be repeated till the n value, till n minus 1 value and when the nth value comes, the condition would get violated and this power loop also would come out of it. So, entire pseudocode would stop working and whatever the list we got as the final list, that is going to be the sorted list. So, this is how the insertion sort algorithm works here. So, now let us move on to the time complexity analysis. So, if we trace the pseudocode, uh, in the pseudocode totally there are two loops given, one is the for loop here and second one is the while loop here. So, if you check this for loop, this for loop would take maximum n number of iterations. This would be executed for maximum n number of iterations. When you check the while loop, it is going to be executed for, for each k value. For example, the k value is 1. So, maximum the temp, temp value every time it would get executed for maximum n number of time. So, for each k value n number of times it would get executed. So, for n k values, it is going to execute it for, for n number of time. So, when you compare this for and while loop, this while loop takes n square number of iterations. So, the maximum time complexity uh, taken by the insertion sort algorithm is going to be big O of n square. And the worst case scenario when exactly the n square number of iterations the insertion sort algorithm would take means when the array is in reverse order. For example, you want to sort the array in the ascending order, but the given input array is in the descending order. In that scenario, 
definitely it would take n square number of iterations because every time this condition would get satisfied and we keep on executing the statements for n square number of times. So, the complexity is going to be n square. When it comes to best case, the best case time complexity is going to be big O of n only. So, when it would take only n iteration means when the item is already sorted. If the item is already sorted, the temp would never go lesser than array of j. So, only we make the comparison, but the statement would not get executed. So, in that scenario, so in this scenario, in such scenario, it, it is going to take only n number of iterations. So, the best case time complexity is going to be big O of n and average case is theta of n square. So, this insertion sort algorithm is efficient for small for sorting only the smaller arrays or the sub uh, partially sorted arrays. However, it becomes the sorting algorithm, this insertion sort algorithm becomes inefficient for large data sets due to its quadratic time complexity because the complexity given here is big O of n square. So, when it comes to the large data set, this is this algorithm is going to be the inefficient one. Thank you.